Hello, my name is Jeff Ford with JLG, and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about the newest addition to our Ultra Boom family, the 1850SJ. With just over 19 stories of available working height, the 1850SJ is the tallest and furthest reaching boom lift available on the market today. As we walk around this machine, uh, we're going to talk about two key parameters that were key as we did key deliverables as we designed this machine. Uh, the first is productivity for our operators. Uh, we want to keep operators up in the air, we want to keep them working, we want to keep them productive. And the second key element is total cost of ownership for our rental channel customers. Uh, return on investment is a key element and one way to maximize that is to maximize uptime and keep this machine up and running through low cost of ownership. So the first feature I want to talk about today is, is probably the most significant in terms of productivity, and that involves the, the, the reach capability of this machine. Uh, when you're in a boom lift of this size, the main thing that you really want is reach, and you want reach at height. That's the most important and most critical thing in a boom lift of this size. Uh, this machine has nearly 3.2 million cubic feet of available work envelope. Uh, that's the, the leader in the industry at this time. Uh, it also provides more reach at height over 50% more reach at height above 150 feet where this thing really excels uh, versus any other available lift. So those are two very key elements, a gigantic work envelope at just over, just under 3.2 million cubic feet and the ability to reach more at height. So th that's a substantial uh, advantage from a productivity standpoint that this machine provides. Uh, as we start to walk through some of the total cost of ownership things, uh, issues or, or contributors to load cost of ownership. I'll start here at the ground control box. Uh, you can see a nice clean layout. Uh, all symbols used here to help clearly communicate to the operator uh, what each of these uh, functions will, will accomplish. Uh, the other thing to note is individually replaceable toggle switches. These are very easy to replace, very low cost, as opposed to a single panel where if one pod goes bad, you have to replace the whole piece. So a small thing, but, but a key contributor to cost of ownership there. As we start to move to my left here, uh, we'll go around to the tank side of the machine. Uh, inside of the steel hood is a 52.8 gallon fuel tank. Uh, that gives the operator productivity in the form of multi-shift operations. So uh, we maximize the size of the fuel tank to limit the amount of time the operator has to stop his, his work and go fill up the machine. Uh, also, you'll notice inside is a uh, optional clear sky that we put on this machine. This is a unique feature to JLG that allows you to do uh, remote diagnostics. You can adjust personality settings and troubleshoot the machine remotely which is a key, a key feature for this unit. Uh, you can see very open, a uh, machine this size, certainly a lot of open space for servicing valve components, batteries, uh, filters and such. A lot of open area here inside of this machine uh, to work on. Uh, so as we move to my left here, uh, we're gonna walk towards the center of the chassis here. Uh, foam filled tires standard on this machine. As we walk around here, uh, one of the other uh, very key deliverables in terms of, of getting this project done and getting accomplished uh, to deliver, deliver the most value to our customers is transportability. You know, our customers tell us they, they wanted this thing to, to be transportable on an eight foot two wide trailer with only a weight permit. So we had height and length restrictions we had to work around. And from a WIS standpoint, the way we accomplished, uh, where, the way you see it in its current configuration is its work ready position. And that's about 16 and a half feet wide. Uh, these axles will retract to eight foot two inches and in, in less than a minute. So again, from a productivity standpoint, less time setting up, more time up in the air, uh, kind of doing your day job there. So we accomplished this through two cylinders. These cylinders are recessed and well protected. Uh, there's a sensor inside that senses the position of the axle, communicates to each individual wheel to keep those wheels aligned as you open and close this machine. Uh, three steering modes on this machine. You have coordinated steer, which is traditional front wheel steer. You also have a four wheel steer mode and then a crab steer mode. Uh, this machine will adjust the speed of various things like swing and drive to eliminate a lot of movement in the platform. So it does that for you all automatically. Uh, we're gonna move around to the engine side of the machine here. Um, and as I walk around the back, um, behind this, this cowling, um, we'll open it up here. You can see a class leading Deutz turbo diesel. Uh, the turbo diesel on this machine provides 99.8 horsepower and that class leading horsepower is important because it delivers 40% gradeability, which again is a class leading feature along with a 2.8 mile per hour 
uh, drive speed, maximum drive speed, which contributes to uh, additional productivity in terms of getting you around the job site, uh, giving you enough power to get through that tough terrain, to get you to your work area uh, as quickly as possible. Again, the whole idea, the more productive you are uh, as you get to the job site quicker, get in the, up in the air quicker, and spend more time working and less time positioning. So in inside you see three piston pumps. The first two pumps operate the left and right side of the drive system. Uh, that gives you independent control and very smooth and very proportional operation of all your lift and all your drive functions. Uh, the middle piston pump controls all lift, fu lift functions. And then there's a gear pump on the back that acts as a charge pump for those other, for those other functions. As you can see, wide open, the engine tray swings out for ease of serviceability, another feature that contributes to that, that cost of ownership piece of the equation that I spoke to earlier. Uh, I'm going to start walking out the boom here. Uh, as I walk out the boom, you'll notice this is a five-section boom. It's the first five-section boom uh, that GOG has put together. Um, you notice a very, very big, very rigid, very strong looking boom. I think when you go up in the air at this machine, most of the people that, that I've taken up or that I've talked to that have ridden in this machine, I comment on how smooth um, and how sturdy this thing feels in the air. And one of the key end user things that we, we hear in our research is users want to feel comfortable and confident when they're up in the air. And you can imagine why you would want to feel that way while you're at height. It certainly makes you more productive if you're, if you're feeling comfortable and sturdy and, and in control. So the combination of a very sturdy five section boom and proportional controls um, really gives you a, a very confident feel when you're, when you're up in the air working at height. So as you move out towards the end, uh, you'll notice we have a telescopic jib on this machine. It's currently in its retracted position, which is uh, 13 feet in length. It extends to 20 feet or from the edge of the, uh, from kind of tip to tail, actually 25 feet. So it's a unique feature on a telescopic boom. This jib actually gives you an element of up and over capability that you would traditionally only have in an articulated boom. Uh, that jib allows you also to get up and kind of telescope out into steel structures. Uh, you know, steel erector is certainly a big end user segment for big booms like this. Uh, Petrochem, you know, a lot of places where you need to boom out and telescope. And it adds, with that element of up and over capability, provides even more versatility to that, that big reach envelope we talked about, which is directly attributable, attributable to the productivity piece that we, we spoke about earlier. Uh, so up to 25 feet of reach available on this machine. Uh, as we duck under and go into the platform, uh, we have a swing-in gate here for ease of entry into the platform. This is our 8-foot platform. We also have a six-foot platform, 72-inch platform available as an optional feature. Um, as I kind of move around here, uh, you'll notice the controls on this machine. Uh, if you were on a 40-foot boom, a 60-foot boom, an 80-foot boom, any of the other ultra booms, uh, it's almost interchangeable. The control layout is, is lift and swing on the left, drive and steer on the right. All the toggles are arrayed in a similar fashion across the entire boom lift line. So from a user standpoint, that's key. Again, we talk about users feeling comfortable and confident and being productive when they're in the air. If they're familiar with the control box, if they've operated any of our other lifts, uh, they, they have a bit of a head start when they, they jump into this machine. Um, this, this piece here is our LCD panel, and this is a supplemental piece to this machine. We also have a similar one on our 1500 SJ. Uh, this is, a, this is a, a key advantage we feel and also contributes to operators feeling comfortable and confident in the air and to the cost of ownership piece as well. Uh, so when you operate the machine, this is going to give you a lot of information. For the operator, it's going to let you know exactly where you are in that work envelope. So that gives you a, a, a comfortable feeling knowing how far you have until you reach the end of the envelope. Certainly the machine will not allow you to surpass that limit either way. But knowing where you are, visually being able to see where you are in that envelope makes you more productive because you know if you have enough stick to get to the application that you need to go and you understand why when it's slowing down as it approaches that end of envelope, envelope position, why the machine is slowing down. It's going to communicate that to you here. Also, when you get to the edge of the envelope, it's going to highlight what control functions across this panel are available to you uh, at, that part, at that position in the work envelope. So a very, very very cool feature that we've added to this machine. Uh, again, it uh, contributes to the operator being more productive because they'll feel more comfortable and confident and be able to make more efficient use of that, that big work envelope that we spoke to earlier. The other thing it does is it communicates engine RPMs, and the reason that matters is because you're unlikely to be able to hear your engine uh, at this kind of height, so it's, it adds a confidence level knowing, hey, your engine's fine, it's running as it should be. Uh, it gives you your battery levels, so you know your battery is charged and, and working well. 
and it also communicates any fault codes. So if a user is up, he, can, he or she can see a code and a description of what that code is and, and what issue needs to be trouble, uh, troubleshot. And that also provides advantages to our, our rental channel service providers. So they can come out, they can get a read before, right from the end user. The end user can tell them any code that this thing is flashing so they can come to the site uh, prepared to get that machine up and running quicker. So a big advantage having this LCD panel uh, on the machine. So I think I've covered most. I missed one thing, Sky Power, a 7,500 watt kilowatt, kilowatt generator that we have available on this machine, as well as a Miller CST 280 uh, onboard welder, uh, which is a very popular among our, our steel erection crew, folks welding in height. That's a very uh, important feature to have an integrated welder in a machine like this. Um, that's pretty much the scope of it. So just to summarize, uh, class leading work envelope, uh, great reach at height. I talked about having 69 feet of reach at 140 feet of platform height. That's about 16 feet more than anything else out on the market. Uh, 3.2 million, nearly 3.2 million cubic feet of work envelope. It's a very big work envelope. And a lot of features that we pointed out here that contribute to cost of ownership as well. So that's the 1850 SJ from JLG.